all of God's children and said, Amen. Amen. We stand. Our Father God, we thank you today for allowing us to have faith. We trust you today, Amen. When everything else fails, just don't let our faith fail. We know if our faith doesn't fail us, you will bring us through. If you bring us to it, you can bring us through it. Thank you. Being a God that is able to do all things, say a word through us now. Take me out of self now. And let Jesus be the center of attraction. In his name we ask it. Amen and amen. Matthew 28 and 19. Matthew 28 and 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I want to talk about admission. I want to talk about omission and mission. You may be admission, omission, Commission. Now, thank you, Brother Sister. Now, a lot of people get the church commission mixed up. They forget to wake up the church and the work in the church kind of mixed up. Now, working in the church consists of what the ushers are doing now. Consists of what the choir just got to doing. That's working in the church. But that's not the work of the church. But the craft of work of the church is go ye therefore into all the world. Therefore, therefore, there, out there is therefore. <laughs> Amen. We come here to get energized. We come here to get empowered to go out there. Go ye therefore into all the world and preach my gospel. I admit that I'm the first one to admit that sometimes I fall short of the commission. If you're honest with yourself, you don't have the zeal and the zest that you used to have. I'm going to be honest with me, amen. When I first got saved, since a young, I hear a man cussing, I lay down my tomb. Oh, then cone him, amen. Stop him from working. You don't cuss. I mean, I blast him out. I had zeal. But now, brother young, of I'm honest, that zeal done kind of wall. I said, well, if God don't stop him cussing, I can't. Amen. I lost some of that zeal. Are you hearing me? Now, another, another, another misinterpretation we have is that we think that doing social work is the work of the church. Are you hearing me? The Red Cross can do great work. Purple Heart can do great works. The Salvation Army can do great works. 
But that's not the work of the church. Are, are you going to hear me? Now, let me, now, now let, me, let, me, let me let me remind you in case you didn't know. There are no salvation in what? The Bible said by I wish I had a witness. By grace are you saved? Not by what? Listen to me and said both. You can go to all the jails you want to. You can feed all the hungry folks you want to. Good. But that's not salvation. That's not the work of the church. Our job is to tell lost men, women, boys, and girls, Christ is your answer. Christ is your solution. Ain't but two places to go to heaven or hell. You need to say yes to Jesus before you leave here. That's our job. To warn lost men, Women, boys and girls, that Christ loves you in spite of you. That's our job. Now we got too many emotional, emotional speakers. We got, I, I didn't say preachers, I said emotional, motivational speakers. Want you to feel good. They want to tell you with a smile, everybody need to be prosperous. Wealthy and happy. And Jesus said, the poor you have with you always. Somebody got to be poor. Hello, a lot of Christians in that. As a matter of fact, there's a whole lot of Christians poor. But when you give God his tip, amen, he'll bless you. And folks see you driving good cars, wearing good, living in a good house, they think you rich. Sometimes we live it from pay to pay. That's all right, though. God's having food. And Raymond told us to be contented. You can't judge us by what we are. We look like millionaires. As a matter of fact, we serve a God who is rich and houses in the land. Are you hearing me? And he promised us he'll give us what we need to live and some of the desires of our heart. God will give you some things you want, but everything you need if you serve him. And it's our job to tell a dying world about Jesus Christ. I'm almost through now. I'm almost through now. I'm almost there. Now, 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 another misinterpretation. I wish some of these bishops hear me out here. It, 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 it's enough, enough misinterpretation. When I was hungry, you fed me. And when I was in jail, you visited me. Are you hearing me? When I naked, you clothed me. That's not the work of the church. Amen. You read it, they take it out of context. The Bible said that Jesus said, as often, talk to me, talk to me, as often as you do it unto 